Well, good morning, everybody. Um, it is a Sunday morning. It's the first weekend of lockdown two, and today I am going to be cutting a massive hole in the side of Astro One. Um, I've done a few things in my life that have induced a bit of stress, but this, this is causing me more anxiety than pretty much anything else I can remember. Um, I'm pretty scared of getting this wrong. However, what I've chosen to do is the sliding door first, so that if it does go horribly wrong, I can replace the door. Here we go. that I need for this job. Um, just from a basic point of view, obviously I need to make the hole. So, I've gone for the largest hole saw I've got here. This is a 72 mil hole saw. The reason I've gone for the largest is that I wanna cut out as much of the, the corner of each sort of part of this panel as possible. Um, and that's going to cut down the amount of, uh, of uh, radiuses that I have to cut with the angle grinder. Now, I've chosen an angle grinder to do this rather than a jigsaw, um, just because I think it's gonna be easier for me to get that nice straight cut. Um, I may be proven wrong on that, but we'll see. It might be that when I come to doing the other holes, I choose to change over to the jigsaw, but we'll see how the angle grinder goes. I've got a nice, fresh cutting disc on here now, and um, obviously it's gonna make sparks, but I can deal with that. Uh, and we will see how I get on um, using this method. I might not even get through this whole panel. I might realize very, very quickly that I need to change over to the jigsaw. Um, I do have it ready um, in here with some nice metal cutting blades. Um, so it's there if I do need to change over. But to start with, this is what I'm gonna be trying. So without any further ado, let's make some holes in this van. So that's stage one. We have six big holes in this door. And now it's just a case of getting out the grinder and joining them up on the inside. Here we go. Okay, so here's the view from inside. Now, because these vans are double skinned, all I need to do is follow this inner skin around with the grinder, joining up the holes as I go and just making sure I keep the line straight as I go through these supports here. So that's what we're gonna get done now.
hole. Um, the rough edges of it, without any filing or anything like that, are pretty, pretty rough and ready. But I'm quite, I'm quite pleased. I'll give it a file down, and then I'm going to try and squeeze these edges a little bit closer together if I can. And once it's all filed, I think I'm going to try and put a piece of aluminium tape over these bare edges just for that extra bit of protection but um yeah hole right dead batteries and rain have stopped play for the time being but here we are it's actually going okay let me turn you around and just show you something so what I've started to do is I've filed it down, filed it around the edge. There's a few little untidy bits, but that's where the um, that's where the additional supports were situated before. So I'm just going to get the grinder on those once the batteries are all charged up, and grind those right down to the uh, to the bottom layer of metal, and then we'll uh, we'll get everything sealed up and put the uh, put the rubber strips on. Okay then, so here we are. We've filed down the edges nicely and I've put a strip of aluminium tape all around here just to make sure there's no rough edges and to seal where I've where I got a little bit um, overzealous with the grinder as well, in all honesty. So uh, yeah, it's time to get the knock-on strip and uh, get the rubber seal put on to this door. Here we go. Okay, so we have our knock-on strip on. I've pushed that on all the way down until it's touching the metal underneath, all the way around. And then what I've done is I've very gently taken the Stanley blade and just cut away any excess aluminium foil because I don't want to be able to see that through the glass when the glass is on. And the next job is uh, preparing the glass itself to go in the aperture. Okay, so the company I've used to supply my windows for the van is called Van Pimps. Now, with the kit from Van Pimps, here's the glass. This is a sliding window model for the uh, made specifically for the sliding door of the Vivaro. And with that, you get a set of instructions, an activator patch sealed up in there. You get the sealant and a nozzle for that sealant gun, and then you get a primer and applicator with that as well and you get one of those for each window that you order so uh, let's get this done okay part one is the glass wipe this activates the surface of the glass um, to accept the primer Okay, the next stage is this glass paint and primer, which we have to shake well. And then we use the applicator to apply a band of this to the area we've just treated.
we let that dry. While that's drying, we'll go outside and do the van surface. Right, now this has all been cleaned and dried really thoroughly. Um, and we do exactly the same with this as we did to the window. And then we let it dry. Once you've got a load of this on the applicator, it really goes quite a long way. Okay. So now we leave that to dry. Okay, and the final stage of things is the actual adhesive. And it comes with a, an applicator. And what you get here, it's quite useful, is the applicator's got a little spacer on the end so you can hold it the correct distance from the surface. And it's got a little notch cut out as well to make sure you get the right size and shape of, uh, of bead as you squeeze this on. So uh, I'm going to get this opened up, um, popped into the, uh, into the squeeze gun and uh, start putting a, a layer on. Um, first thing I am going to do though is put some pieces of tape along the top here to hold the glass in place once I've pushed it on and um, once those are in place and I push the glass on I can just put them over the top of the piece of glass and, uh, and it should hold nice and firmly uh, while this cures. Okay, let's get that done. Okay, so you can apply this uh, adhesive to either surface. I'm choosing to apply it to the surface of the van and I have to try and keep this bead as constant as I possibly can all the way around the entire surface. So here we go. Right, let's go get some glass. Okay, now, I believe the trick is to not push it down until we're pretty much where it needs to be. If you can see I've got some excess sealant up here that's actually squeezed out. Oh, drat. Um, what I'm going to try and do, I think I'll leave that and I'll try and get that off with a knife or something similar once everything's cured. But um, yeah, lesson learned there. It is actually possible to put too much. Quite happy the gap's pretty constant all the way along there. For a first effort, I'm quite pleased. Okay, there we go. Just like that, Astro One 
has a window. Uh, I'm not going to open that door, but let's go around the back. There we go. View from in here is actually excellent. What I haven't done yet is check around the inside here. It all looks good. The carpet is obviously going to come up all the way up to this U bend here, this U channel, and cover all this silver tape. So the carpet's going to really cover all this up nicely. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty chuffed actually with this as a first go. Um, that is an opening window. Um, it's actually, it's, it's properly tinted glass. It's not a film over clear glass. If I go back out here, you'll see the light transmission from this way. You can't see through there at all, unless you get right up to the glass and really, there you go. It's excellent, really, really good stuff. Uh, this is from Van Pimps. Uh, I'd highly recommend them for, for things like this. Um, so yeah, if you're if you are doing a conversion and you're looking for a good place to get hold of not just windows But all sorts of accessories my steering wheel cover that I put on in the last video That was a, a van pimps accessory. So take a look. They're excellent And that's that for this episode folks. That's all I wanted to get done today. Really. Um, I've got One window here to go in. I've got another one on the other side and I've got the two back doors to do so still four windows to go um, but as a first attempt, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that one. As I said earlier, I did it on this sliding door first in case it all went wrong because as a worst case scenario, I could have replaced the whole door really. Um, but I'm pretty thrilled. And as long as when this is all cured, it passes the, the hose pipe test, um, happy days. I'm gonna be pretty, pretty happy with that as a first effort. So folks, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, Give us a like, leave a comment or question down below if you want to. Uh, consider subscribing to the Wild Astro channel and uh, I will see you next time, whether that's on another gear review, Wild Camp, or a bit more work on Astro One. I hope to see you again. This is Richie for Wild Astro, signing off.